Shout out to Hispanics causing panics. Shout out to Hispanics causing panics. Um, Hispanics causing panic. Um, I'm glad to be here. Hispanics are causing panic, baby. Let's do it. But we offered we offered Charlo a um, pretty lucrative deal to fight Canelo last year. And uh, I don't know who turned it down. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Charlo, but I don't know who did. Uh, but that, that train already left. I'm 154. I ain't the one. I would never turn down no motherfucking Canelo. Y'all know what it is. I ain't never turning my money down. For chat here from uh, Chicano Profit. He's asking you a question, Roberto. He says, uh, Please settle the online debate. Can you confirm if Golden Boy did indeed offer Jamal Charlo a Canelo match for May of 2019? There's been a lot of talk about that online, but we don't know for sure. But um, could you answer that question? Absolutely. Eric Gomez called out, made him an offer. And I believe, and it was a few years ago, but I believe uh, the reply was we are worlds apart and the offer was more than charlo's made so far so i mean uh but you know obviously when when it's a canelo fight everybody wants and and that's the that's the the difference today a lot of fighters see that canelo as the sweepstakes the lottery ticket if i fight him i got my retirement check win or lose or draw um and that's not how it was in the past you know what uh, Sugar Ray Leonard fought Marvin Hagler because I want to beat him and I want to go down as the greatest and I believe I can beat him. And, you know, Duran fought, you know, they all fought each other. Why? Because they believe they can win or they wanted to try to win and be great and go down in history. And that's not what we're having today. Right now, it's like, I just want to fight him because I want to get paid. 